So now let's go ahead and do a few strike and dips. So this map has, for speed, you can turn off some of the underlying layers. So turn everything off so it'll draw. But now what I'm seeing is this map has bedding strike and dips, but it also has some fracture strike and dips, which is nice. So let's do these two bedding strike and dips. So what we want then is to go to Customize, Toolbars, and turn on the editor. And you can attach that there. Now we're going to do Start Editing. Let's pick our Net Strike and Dips. And so now click on it here, and I'm going to say Point. So just click right there in that uh, middle of that Strike and Dip. Now I'll go to the layer over here. I'm going to do right-click open attribute table. So let's keep this maybe down here at the left. And so I can say uh, the strike of this one is 350. And the dip I can read is 60. And this is bedding. Remember, each one of these has to be spelled exactly right. Now you can just keep going. Click another one here. And this one looks like it's north-south, so just leave strike zero, and the bedding looks like it's 85. And this one will be bedding. Now, um, these fractures here, you can click this one, and that one looks like it's 180. For the strike. But the dip and the dip is 86, and this is fracture. And then the last one, this one, is uh, looks like the strike is about 85, and the dip is 80, and this is fracture. So now I should save my edits. Let's just quickly look around, see if we've got a few more striking dips. There's one there. So if I lose the tool, you just go back over here to the construction tools and you can click again, click here. So this one is bedding and it looks like it's about 10, 60 bedding. And around, is there anything else? There's one, a couple more. So you can turn that layer off just to check that you have points everywhere. Okay, looks good. So let's file, stop editing, save the edits, yes. So now let's do the basic um, plotting of these just to check them. So here, you can close the attribute table, right click, Properties. I'm going to go to Symbology Categories. Turn off this Add All Values, but then for the Value field, I'm going to do Notes. And what this does is it gives me the bedding and the fracture. So I have two different types. So now if I click on Bedding, and remember I need to style references, go down and add the Geology 24K. And now scroll down and not minor dome, but this one I think was the incline bedding showing strike and direction of dip. And what we realized was that it looked like if this was about 70, 
it's a good size length. Okay, now then the fracture, let's go ahead and do that one while we're here. So we just go down and look for, so let's just do this one as a <clears throat> inclined joint showing strike and dip and make this one also <clears throat> 70. Okay, so we've set those two ready to go. <clears throat> but now we need to do properties uh, advanced rotation. So let's pull, make sure the rotation style is geographic and get the rotation from the strike. So let's apply that to the bedding. Same thing here with uh, fractures, advanced rotation, geographic. And so now we see the strike and dips have the correct orientation. Last thing to do is we want to right click, we want to click here and toggle that will label the features, but notice that the labels are just zero, so it's pulling from the wrong field. So right click, properties, go to the labels tab, label field, dip, and make the font size 14. There. And now we can right click zoom to layer, and we've got all the strike and dips nicely shown and reasonably well labeled. Sometimes the they're not very well positioned, and we can work on that in cartography if necessary. So let's do, um, let's just save 